Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 19. Today, our reading takes us to verses 9 to 13. And here's what it says. The Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will come to you in a thick cloud, so that the people may hear when I speak with you and may also believe in you forever. Then Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord also said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow and let them wash their garments. And let them be ready for the third day, for on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set bounds for the people all around, saying, Beware that you do not go up on the mountain or touch the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether beast or man, he shall not live. When the ram's horn sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. All right, so they're at the foot of Mount Sinai here. We're just on the point of getting the Ten Commandments. But at first, there's this business where Moses is going to gather them. They're going to go to the foot of the mountain. And what have you got here? Well, there's going to be a bunch of thunder and lightning and kind of a storm theophany here. God's going to show himself to them, but he's he's really kind of giving them the, the effects here. He wants them to really understand that we're in communion with the great God of the universe. So he's giving them the full treatment here and ca- kind of ca- catching their attention. And it's interesting here that he doesn't represent, God doesn't represent himself in any way. He doesn't use a, an idol or a statue or anything. There's no anthropomorphism here, you know, like uh, the, he's representing himself. He's just putting these effects in. And part of what's going on here is that Moses is going to be established uh, indisputably as the leader. And we're going to find out later that's going to be very useful and very important because they're going to keep on murmuring and rebelling and groaning. But uh, God is going to put Moses in the very clear here that Moses is the leader. Moses is the, is the one. He's the in-between, the mediator. There's another thing here. There's three days they have to sort of sort this out. We're going up to the mountain to meet God. We can't do this. We can't do that. We're going to uh, make sure our clothes are clean, our bodies are clean, everything. And so uh, three days. Now, what is this three days? Uh, one of the things that seems to mean would be this is a very thoughtful, thought out decision. We're going to enter into covenant with God's going to present his covenant to us. And when they say yes, we will do everything God says, uh, that means they've thought about it. They've had three days. They're, they're totally, you know, they're totally ready. to. Th- they've thought it through. They're ready to go. Their decision is completely a free will decision as they're making their choice. And there's another business here that's quite interesting. As you see the death penalty coming up here, if you br- break through and go beyond the boundaries and you go up into the a mountain in the wrong place. See, see the sanctuary doesn't, the wilderness tabernacle or sanctuary doesn't exist yet. They haven't even gotten the plans for it yet, but it's coming up. We're going to be there in 20, chapter 24, 25, right in there. But uh, they don't have that yet, but still God is kind of temporarily, the mount, this Mount Sinai is going to be like a sanctuary. And there's things that you can't cross in here or you die. So it's really emphasizing the holiness of God and the people to say, yes, sir, and recognize that uh, they're in the presence of the infinite God. So this is good for them, and the whole of this up and down, back and forth, different levels of the mountain, we'll see it here, it's going to sort of take on the character of a temp, in a temporary sense, very similar to the, the sanctuary where you have the most holy place, the holy place, you have the courtyard, and different elements there where only the priests are allowed in a certain place, only the high priest is allowed in a certain place, so the people in general are only allowed at a certain place. So we're seeing this uh, kind of take its shape. All right, more tomorrow morning as we're getting ready for the big uh, gathering here at Mount Sinai.